you can have a full conversation without like someone being like but 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 what if what if it's like no don't play devil's advocate here this is a punk space you meet a lot of queer people you meet a lot of like cool people it's a sense of community but not in like the way you usually get we're just doing shit because you know we care about it and we want people to have a good time In the mid 70s was when Ireland was going from being a, like a subjugated country into being a real country on equal terms with other countries in Europe. Up to up to the 70s Ireland was almost like a third world country that was controlled by quite an extreme Catholic church. So that period in the mid 70s was Ireland coming out of that darkness. Part of that was the punk movement. I just got a, a passion for capturing people in the moment, especially like in, in motion and just having like a great time because it's such an underground movement and not many people even know that punk gigs are still going like happening today. Um, it's good to really capture and show that this is history, you know? It was a tiny scene in Ireland. It grew like from that period, like from nothing. And it became necessary for kids of that generation to find some sort of outlet. And one of those outlets was punk. We are no longer punks just, you know, because it's something new. Because it's the only thing we've got now. It's only there's, no other, there's nothing else in Belfast. Whereas in London, if, you know, you can be a punk. There's plenty of places to go. But if you're not a punk, you've still got somewhere to go. But here, we've got this place, nowhere else. My first like I like punk memory or whatever would be this like band called I think Gorilla Biscuits. I was like very into their music. Even yeah like they were like my first kind of introduction. I think I got more into DIY and the politics before I like figured out like what punk music I liked uh, but now I listen to a lot of the local bands um, like the Nils and the Skunks. I went to Madness, the ska band, um, I saw them in Clapham Common with my dad when I was like eight and there was just skinheads everywhere but like the cool ones not the not the dodgy ones. <laughs> my dad had a, a LP or had the like vinyl London Calling uh, and he used to play that all the time and then I started getting into like the first Clash album, which is called, what's it called, Kevin? Self-titled, The Clash. Oh yeah, The Clash. I was on the way into school, and the song came on the radio called When I Come Around by Green Day, and it, fuck off. And it sounded incredible. Through Green Day then, you get into kind of underground stuff more, like Operation Ivy, the Ramones, Rancid, and you can go to the replacements, kind of Husker Du, and you know, just starting with one particular band, you can just go everywhere. I was a punk at heart since I was 15 years old. I remember I've never felt like I could find a, like my own community, so I would never go to clubs or concerts or anything like that because it just didn't suit me. I went to my first gig in Fibbers and I remember the Skunks and the Nils and a couple other bands were playing and like that's the first time I witnessed a mosh pit and like uh, the just joy of it, I loved it. I think especially recently, the punk scene's very accepting of just anyone. The people are very, very special. Everyone's really unique and just accepting. And that really just like keeps on making me want to like just capture it and document it. Punk has taken on a new form and it will continue taking on different kinds of forms so 
I definitely uh, don't think it's dead. <laughs> it, it, will, it will live on forever. It's really a community and like just being around people that you know you're safe with. You know, you get a lot of people coming together, like here, where you just put on something for people without any desire for like profit. Just a way to voice your opinion in a not necessarily mainstream way, but finding like other people that are similar to you. It's about people who are like looking at the system and they're saying this is wrong, you know what I mean? Like, especially now with so many bad things happening in the world, like lots of wars and shit like that. Um, there are great similarities between the environment now and the atmosphere in the mid 70s. To see young kids doing that now is great. It vindicates it, you know, it, it shows that it was necessary at the time. So I'm not surprised the punk movements like stayed alive. Alright, and this is a song I wrote about an ex who was into some things. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, time it to the bed. Kill the lies dead. Well, that's when I think you lost in a head. Then you brought the whips, then you brought the chains. I lied to you, babe, and I said I like the pickers. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. Care, I don't care about your sexual fantasies. <laughs>